This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. Thanks again for stopping by the podcast today. We get to visit with Jaden Wallace, the head coach of the USAO Drovers, whose Drovers have now won 40 consecutive ball games. That's right, 33-0 this season, and that includes a seven-game run to end 2018. And, of course, that means you ended it with a national championship. Your team is number one in the country in NAI. Coach, talk about 40 straight wins. Yeah, it's been a really exciting year and a really exciting run all the way together. Of course, coming off the national championship last year, um, you know, first for our program here at USAO. um, You know, these girls, uh, they just keep fighting. And, you know, that's one thing that I instill in them and, you know, me and my coaching staff as well is, you know, we win every pitch of every inning of every ball game. And uh, these girls have really, really came together and shown that. You most definitely have won every pitch in every ball game for 2019, especially again 33 and 0. And you guys are putting up really some crazy numbers. I mean, you want to talk about proficiency on both the offensive and defensive sides: 285 runs for, 56 runs against. That's a ratio of a, of a little more than five to one, and it really shows what you all have been able to do really on both sides of the ball. Yeah, it it really, they've just, you know, I mean, we've got our little spark plugs with our uh, slappers of my uh, one, two, and nine hole, and then I've got, um, I'm really deep in my three, four, five, and then I've got my kids that just come in and make things happen in my seven, seven and eight spot and six spot, and, um, you know, it's collective all through the lineup, you know, I mean, we've got crazy numbers, um, I think as a team, we're hitting, like, right at 400, um, which is amazing, because that's, I mean, you know, 15 kids, you know, that go into that <laughs> equation. And, um, you know, we've got Kristen Prieto that was a junior college uh, transfer from Seminole State, uh, native of Moore. Um, she's done phenomenal this year. Um, I've got Destiny Lookout, Randa Hatter that have been big in that four or five spot, um, you know. And then I've got, uh, you know, Emily Cerny on the mound that has just, you know, been incredible this year she really has um posting you know 14 strikeouts averaging 14 strikeouts a game which is just amazing um you know but one thing that's really special about this team is they're all from Oklahoma and um to me that just shows you know Oklahoma's got great ball players you know it's just going out there and finding them you know, Coach, that's a big deal. Let's stay there for just a moment, too, because that was really a theme with the Southwestern women's basketball team this year, you know, just almost the entire lineup from the state of Oklahoma, and they go all the way to a national championship game, finishes the national runners-up. Uh, how, how do you recruit so well within the state and keep them here? You know, honestly, um, you know, I'm a native of Oklahoma as well. I'm from Newcastle, Oklahoma. My assistant coach, Kayla Adams, is from Mustang. And then my other assistant coach, Ken Richardson, is also from Oklahoma City. And, um, you know, I I recruit Oklahoma kids because they're blue-collar kids like I was. And um, to me, that's just – that's kind of the theme of my team is, you know, we come, we work hard, and, you know – you don't have to go out of state necessarily to find great ball players, you know, and a lot of it has to do with team chemistry, you know, and with all these kids being from the same area, they have the same work ethic and they have the same goal in mind. And a lot of these kids have played together growing up. And to me, that's, that's a big plus, you know, so. And it's, I'm sure it's nice to have a coaching staff like you do speaking now with coach Jaden Wallace from USAO. And, you know, you mentioned uh, Kayla Adams. She's, she was the assistant coach of the year for NAI last year. And another yes. name that is on your staff this year was on the roster for you last year with Chloe Clifton, who led Chloe the Clifton. NAI in RBI. So no wonder you're, yeah. you're, you're producing girls that can hit the ball. Well, as you are just bringing people on through and back into the program. Yep. Yep, absolutely. And that's one thing that, you know, I love hearing is when my girls want to coach, um, you know, because it, it does, it does keep that competitiveness in your life, you know, and you can still be successful. And, um, you know, my girls, I've got four girls of my own and, you know, I teach them, Hey, you know, cause these girls, they're going to be moms one day. And I teach them, you can be a mom and still be successful and still compete. And that's, that's one thing that I love my girls seeing and, is and I love hearing coach I want to coach one day you know what I mean and every year I bring one on and then I send them off you know to (laughs) to create their own path you know so 
Coach, you were talking about uh, some of your players, and we do want to mention a couple of those even as we, we go through here on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast today. Kristen Trieto, you mentioned her batting 5'10". That's right, batting 5'10". Yes. And as, as a team, you talked about the team batting average. I, I see it at 396 coming into today's contest. Uh, Trieto at 5'10", 11 home runs, 51 RBI. Talk about a little bit more of that offense. Yeah, um, Kristen Prieto has came in and she has just lit it up offensively. She's hitting in my three hole. Um, you know, she's scoring a lot of runs in tight ball games. I mean, in two ball games this year, she's been solo home run to win the game. Um, and so that is just clutch for me. Um, I think that Kristen is definitely, um, she'll be one of the, you know, best offensive players to come through my program um you know but she's she's got the work ethic you know i mean if there's a day off kristen's hitting and, <laughs> and that's what it takes to to you know be at the level that she's at coach one of the things you mentioned also was the fact that it was it was from top to bottom and you have players uh, all the way around not only adding to the the batting average again at 396 as a team but also in the circle 14 shutouts this season i mean you know you're you're putting up some good run support you're averaging uh, better than eight and a half runs per contest you don't even need that kind of run support when you when you have 14 shutouts and you have right. six pitchers and obviously there there are no losses on on any of their records as you all are 33 and 0 six pitchers that have recorded at least two wins yes Yes, um, my pitching staff this year, I mean, we had a great staff last year as well, but this year, I mean, they've gone out there, you know, whatever's thrown at them, they take care of, they handle. They go out there and they compete, and, you know, I tell them, I'm like, I need ground balls, and that's exactly what they give me. <laughs> and, um, you know, they stay on track with what our focus is um, going into each game, and um, they do a really great job. I'm really proud of all of them. Well, Coach, as we wrap up our time here on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast, you all have a game. I have a doubleheader today against Mid America Christian. You have another doubleheader tomorrow against Southwestern Christian. Uh, you all played yep. four games in two days, Friday and Saturday. You get Sunday off, another four games over the next two days. Uh, preview the 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 Monday and Tuesday lineup. Yeah, um, you know, we're going to stick with the same game plan that we've been sticking with all year, um, you know, and then also, uh, you know, Sterney will be on the mound, uh, game one of both days, and then, um, you know, I'll, of course, Fallon Howell, Lindy Irvin, um, Jordan Weiss, um, those kids will also, you know, be in participation on the mound with us, um, but, you know, we're just going to go out and, like I said, keep winning every pitch of every inning of every ball game and just keep fighting hard. Well, if you do that, you put yourself in a position to win another national championship. So uh, we'll see how this season winds up. The month of April is underway now, and the Drovers are yet to lose a game here in 2019. Coach Jaden Wallace, thank you very much for taking time with us today on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast, and success to you as the season goes along. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate everything that you do for us. Thank you. Thank you.